Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going to be a little off today. Guys, I know I've been very, very slow on the uploads, but Madden really has absolutely nothing. I hope all you guys who are subscribed, whether or not you guys really watch that often, damn, my voice is bad. I hope you guys still can stick around and come back around Madden 20. I don't mind you guys all dip for Madden 19. I get it. <clears throat> damn. But Madden 20, hopefully you guys all come back. In just that. Yeah, there we go. So, anyways, guys. Remember, as I've been saying, I will be doing a giveaway every day from now until Madden 20. So, all you gotta do is comment down below 500k and like the video. If we hit 100 likes, I will be giving away a random commenter. 500k. I obviously have more things in my body to sell from the last pack opening. And also, guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. Madden 20 is literally in a month and about two weeks. So, I cannot wait for that time. So, just drop a sub now. Come back around Madden 20. Also, enter the giveaway. And make sure to like and comment as per usual. Hopefully it's a different time come Madden 20. So that's what I'm hoping for. Now guys, <clears throat> today I'm going to be going over my opinions on the fan, not the fan, the program stars. So I'm going to be telling you guys which are my favorite, which ones I think aren't worth it, which ones to sell, which ones are overpriced, pretty much that. So now if I go over to program stars, there's a Matthew Stafford. So Matthew Stafford. Speed's a little low for this point in the year, right? Because, yeah, the passing stats are good, but any quarterback right now with a 99 overall, you can get those passing stats. Speed, you can't. Unless you're a Lions fan or have a Lions team team or want to try out Matthew Stafford, I would not recommend using this card. I'd recommend finding a similar quarterback that literally can get the exact same stats. Now, Micah Hyde, 94 speed, awesome stats, but his hit power is kind of low. Now, I said power was kind of lackluster this year, but if you chem this card up, everything will be 99. Everything besides hit power. So, if you guys can, if you guys are okay without the hit power, my guy's a pretty awesome card. And so far, these cards are all 290, so they're kind of worth it at this price point. They're going to go down, obviously. So, obviously, wait, Bill get it right now, I'm just saying. Brandon Graham, across the board, all his rushing stats will be about 99 after being chemmed up. Speed's a little low. I feel like there's other ends like my Khalil Mack that can compete with that. As you can see, Khalil Mack is very, very similar. But he is way faster and taller. So for that reason, Brandon Graham's okay. If you're, a, if you're an Eagles fan, I guess it's alright. Tyron Smith's pretty awesome. Awesome left tackle. Compared to Ogden, though, his stats are a little lackluster. I didn't even realize that. Compared to my 96, well, he's powered up, 97 overall. Jonathan Ogden, he's honestly worse. After cams and everything, this one's gonna be better. So never mind. Unless you get him for free out of the set, I mean, I'd recommend selling him. Get a, get an Ogden. Unless you need the overall, obviously. Now we got Julio Jones. Six foot three, awesome stats. Ninety-seven speed. If you cam him up, you will have maxed out speed, maxed out catching, max cats and traffic. Max spec catch, medium 90s route running, and already 99 jumping. Can he, can he spin? That's huge. 99 agility, 96 to sell. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is so bad. If he can spin, that's a game changer. 99 jumping. He cannot spin. He can juke, he can't kind of step, but he can't spin. So, still awesome card, but there's probably better receivers you can get at this, at probably cheaper at this point. Now, Mitchell Schwartz, oh my god, that hurts to say. Mitchell, you can probably... But compared to Lane Johnson, obviously he's better. This card is absolutely stacked out of its mind. If you chem this guy up, which you really don't even need to, he's already 99 across the board. You chem this guy up, is he decently fast too? I'd have to say, guys, that this speeds up, isn't it? Speeds up, isn't it? Probably the first thing, guys. I if what I'd recommend out of all these cards in the promo, probably I'd take this card if you need a lineman. <clears throat> if you have the room for one, 63 speed, not horrible. Mitchell Schwartz is definitely the move. 
He is honestly the best. Probably has the best stats on anyone in comparison to other cards. His Alan Page is also awesome. I was going to say that. You chem this guy up. You have almost all 99 stats. Plus, and like a 91, 92 speed. So, just for that reason alone, Alan Page is an awesome defensive tackle. Although, I don't know if I'd even recommend having a defensive tackle at this point in the year. Now, we got Terrell Suggs. So, Terrell Suggs, too slow for my liking. Doesn't really matter about the rest of his stats. You can find other guys like Lawrence Taylor. Let's see, if you compare it to this Lawrence Taylor right here. If you get the full Lawrence Taylor and you compare it to this Carbay, the full Lawrence Taylor is better. And he's way faster, way more athletic. Jimmy Graham. Honestly, this card isn't that bad except the speed. All those stats are fine, right? But the speed only gets like a 94. So for that reason, I'm out on him. I'm not gonna, I'm not really a fan. Let's see this Champ Bailey. Can I compare it to mine? Let me find one with, let's find one with mine. Compare it. So this Champ Bailey. A slight, slight, slight upgrade over his other card. Not much of an upgrade. He's gonna have maxed out speed, maxed out protection, maxed out jumping, maxed out. He's gonna have maxed out everything. But he's only six foot, uh, six feet tall, and 88 catching. So I mean, right now cornerbacks are all preference, right? Like you can get a Pat Pete, a Champ, a Dion, uh, Jalen Ramsey. I mean, Champ Bailey is awesome, but if you had, if you have corners already, don't even bother switching. But if you need a corner, not an awesome card to have, but I highly recommend. What do we got left? We got Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette. I'm probably out on him just because every running back has 99 overall stats already. So, and his catching's bad. Not to say that other running backs have good catching, but there's nothing special about this card compared to other cards. If he had like an 85 catching, it'd be different. But he, every card has a 99 speed. 99 charging is cool, but I bet there's probably another card just like that. So not really high on him. Jack Tatum, awesome card, but he looks so similar to his other card in so many ways. You compare this to my Sean Taylor, Let's see, Jack Tatum beats him in zone, man. He's like a slightly souped up Sean Taylor, slightly. Obviously an awesome card. I just wish, this, I mean, if you if you come up, his speed will be 98, not a big deal, but he is kind of on the small side. So he's more of a preference safety. What's left for us here? I haven't seen yet. I think we about got them all, right? Is there something really expensive in here that I'm missing? Oh, okay, Harrison Smith and George Kittle. These cards are limited time though. Harrison Smith, awesome card, but again, with this speed, it'll be a 99 just about. Tackle's a little low, man coverage a little low. I feel like for a 99 card at this point in the year, for a safety, they should be able to man end zone, not just partially man, and they should also be, their tackle and man should be in the 90s, high 90s. So that's kind of underwhelming. You know, George Kittle, I can only imagine this card's gonna be a beast. Yeah, he has better run blocking than Jimmy Graham and better speed and everything. I don't know how Jimmy Graham's a 99. So this, this card will have maxed out catching stats, almost maxed out route running stats. He will have maxed out 99 speed and a decently high run block, depending on if you double cam him, if you even can with him. I don't think, he doesn't have a team diamond. I don't think he can. But the point is, this card is awesome. Highly recommend. It's probably the best tight end in the game. What tight end am I rocking right now? Let's compare it. They have Vernon Davis. Yeah, blows him out of the water in every way possible. Highly recommend this card. George Kittle pretty much caps out. This promo, I'm not sure if they'll be adding more players. I have not been on top of it as per usual. I wonder if this has affected the market. Let's go check. Oh, kind of similar. Very, very similar. I thought things would have went down a little more, but I guess not. I mean, it's 99, but like nothing crazy. So guys, that's what it for the video. Hope you guys have been enjoying the little bit of content I've been putting out. Hope I at least can entertain you guys just a bit. Hope this was helpful. Hope this helps you guys pick what cards you want. And also, guys, if you haven't already, go down below, drop a like, comment down below, 500K, enter the giveaway. Like I said, sorry for my voice. My voice is pretty bad. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video, but I, I feel like I can hear it. And, um, but guys, I need a haircut. Don't don't comment that. I know my beard's long. I need a haircut. Just grow up. I'm, I'm, I've been in refuge so Madden 20. I've been just hiding in my, in my cave, so... When Madden 20 comes, I can get back to being a normal kid and get back on the grind. But guys, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to build my fan base going to Madden 20 as much as possible. Make sure to like the video. And make sure to comment so that you can enter the giveaway because obviously I picked by the comments. So if you don't comment, I obviously can't choose you for the giveaway. And guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys turn on the bell notification button thing. 
so that you guys can come back for all the giveaways I'll be doing until Madden 20. Be on top of that. Don't miss out. And keep enjoying the little bit of content I have left. If you guys don't, it's all good. I know you guys will be back around Madden 20. All 2,000 something of you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.